Hello everyone, welcome back to the another session of Tech Demos. Today we are going to cover the BGP topology using name teaming policy or deterministic path. So here is our topology. On the top we have two router, router 1 and router 2, which is connected to the RNSX environment using the edge 1, edge 2. So on the router 1, router 2 we are running the AS100 and edge 1, edge 2 running the AS200. So we have a two VLAN where the red VLAN is uplink one and the VLAN which is in the green we have uplink two. So both edges going to be connect using the uplink one towards the router one and uplink two going to be the router two. So let's jump to the demonstration on the lab. So here is our lab. So prior to that I would show you how we are going to define the naming to moon policy. First, we have to define the edge profile. If I'm following the edge profile as of now, it's a by default. We don't have anything configured or we can configure fresh. So this is a fresh or a new uh, topology. And prior to that, I would show you what else we have here as of now. Uh, this is a clean configuration. We are deploying the everything from the scratch. We don't have anything. And let me jump to here as okay. So we don't have anything. So the first thing we need to configure using name teaming policy, which is the profile. So we need to jump to the edge profile and define the name teaming policy here. So we need to jump here, configure this one, and define the naming teaming policy. So here we have used VLAN 180 for the uh, red uplink or uplink one and VLAN 190 for uplink 2. So we are defining like VLAN 180 for the uplink 1. Uplink 1. And the same thing we are defining VLAN 190 for uplink 2. So this is the way we need to configure it and then click on save. Okay. Post that we need to call this both the name teaming policy under transport zone which we have here so i'm going to, uh, going to edit this one and call that vlan 180 as well as vlan 190 click save so after doing these two uh, 180 190 now we need to jump to the edge configuration let me jump to the edges okay so I'm just validating this configuration. So it must have that transport zone which we have modified. So let me validate that. Yeah, it contains the edge transport zone. Perfect. Okay, so now defining the segment. So this is the last step for the naming teaming policy and whenever you are following this one you need to configure the naming teaming policy for the you know th these are the three basic steps after that you can perform the you know underlay configuration like uh, if you go with the ospf if you want to go with the you know bgp you can uh, deploy it after that so we need to configure this one like bgp bgp uplink 180 where we need to pick the edge transfer zone here VLAN 180 and same VLAN I need to call it here save no and also we need to configure for the BGP uplink 190 mm. perfect so we have enabled this uh, plink 1 and 2 so uh, now we need to define the tier 1 tier 0 Post that uh, after configuring tier 0, we are defining a tier 1. So T0 gateway 0 1. 
let me see okay we have that hmm. click on save yes first we need to define the interface add interface edge one uplink one edge one uplink one we need to define 191 sit 180.2 191 68 180.2 slash 24 vlan 180 edge 1 uplink 1 save edge 1 uplink 2 192.168 190.2 Okay, we're done with the H1 now. S2 of Blink 1 192.168 180.3 slash 24 as to uplink to one ninety two one sixty eight one ninety dot two slash twenty four it has to be 3 Save. perfect ok now it's done so now jumping to the BGP concession so according to this one we have 200 and this is a so we need to define here local as is a 200 save it set bgp 192.168.180.1 remote as is 100 180.180 Save arrow one ninety two one sixty eight one ninety dot one hundred one ninety three one ninety save Okay, we can see BGP membership is up and for this one this is also up. close redistribution set BGP redistribution set connected and connected apply add apply save refresh ok so let me see the peering ok this is up and let me jump to the router 1 and router 2 and this is my router 1 show IP versus summary ok 1 minute 20 1 second I have seen this one let me open the another router Two on the left. Um, 
show BGP. IP show BGP show IP BGP. Okay, so we can see neighborship is up on the both the sides. Let's jump to create T1. T1 gateway 01. This is going to be connect to the T0 and it's going to be distributed since we are no want to use any kind of service here. So let me pick a distributed here, save it. Yes, so we need to advertise connected only. Mm -hmm. So close, refresh. I'm going to the segments. Let's create a test segment here. Test set. And this is going to connect to the T1 gateway using overlay. One seventy two dot sixteen dot ten dot one slash twenty four. Click on save. No. Refresh. Let me jump to the topology which we have as of now. We have four pairs. That is fine. Uh, that is also fine. Now. Okay. So let's uh, spin up the VM here, and we have that one VM. We'll go with this one. So editing this one. Connecting it to a segment. Okay. Okay. Powering it on. Mm, let me see the IP con config here. Okay, that's fine. And let me ping 172.16.10.1 the gateway. Okay, I'm able to reach the gateway. And let me try to give ping. Okay, here I'm able to reach it, and if I'm able to reach this one, so let me see what exactly the gateway or router is speaking to move out to the internet. So, what I'll do, I'll open another session of CMD and try to initiate a trace on that particular global DNS. Insert and the dot eight dot eight dot eight. Okay, it's as soon as it's eleven using high CPU, so probably that's why we are getting a high latency. Okay, so it's going to picking the 190.1 .1, which is the router 2 so if I am following this one this is the router 1 and this is the router 2 so show interface 191 so this is the router 1 ok so if I am initiating a ping interest this is fine and let me show you let me show you routing what routes we are getting on the 
edge node quickly i'm jumping to the edge one that logical router vrf 7 7 towards the t0 sr get so you can see we are getting two default routes from both of the bgp pair which is a 180.1 180.9 190.1 and 180.1 okay so if i'm jumping to forwarding table vrf dr vrf6 get forwarding so we are getting a two routes default route towards this one so this is a beauty means uh, we can see thing is still going on i am again hitting the trace so i make sure we are still following the 190.1 if that is the case so i'll going to down that router which is the 191 and router 2 and let's see what would be the impact in that case yeah we are still getting 190.1 okay so what i'll do i'm marking this router as a shutdown powering it down and now i'm jumping back to this one so you can see we have seen only single drop or rto and if i am doing that trace once more let's see okay so this is what i want to show you we are picking the route router one as a 180.1 if you are following this one the third octet we have picked this is a 180.1 so we are following this router and forwarding towards the internet so this is the beauty of that you know naming teaming policy we have completely isolated the router in in that way that traffic is not being impact we are aware like the uplink 2 is down for both the edges and we still go with the uplink 1 and forward the traffic toward the required router which is a router 1 and thanks for joining today's session and we'll cover some another topic in next video thank you if you enjoying our content so don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell. Thank you.